Hello guys and welcome to TGN the Game Nerd the Show where I talk about open games that today we're going to be playing Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. In the last episode, if you don't remember, we went ahead and we went to the boat caretaker, the boat shop care, the caretakers, it's some mixture of the words boat shop and caretaker. Anyways, we went to the safe and we found this note, which basically describes the murder plot in exact detail to what we described and also a uh, bit of a side note we also learned about why phoenix became an attorney and how phoenix miles and larry all became friends anyways in this episode we're gonna go ahead and head back to the detention center because someone wrote to the boat shop caretaker wanting to get revenge on miles edgeworth and so let's take it directly to edgeworth himself Detention Center. Edgeworth, see this letter? Hmm? This came out of the safe in that shack where the boat rental caretaker lives. I see. Revenge. On me? Who is that old guy anyway? I, I don't know. Could he be an innocent defendant? You got declared guilty or something? Nice try, right? But I don't remember that old man. Not at all. So he was following this letter then? Which means there was someone else behind it. Now is your now now is your time to give revenge on the two men who ruined your life. Two men, meaning myself and Robert Hammond. This also says this is your last chance. Last chance. Wait, maybe. Maybe he's talking about the statute of limitations on the DL6 incident. Wait. Wait, that old man! What is it? Do you know who he is? Yogi. Could he be Yogi? Yogi? The suspect in the DL6 incident. The one who was found innocent. Yanni Yogi was a court bailiff at the time. We just happened to be in that elevator together 15 years ago. The quake was incredibly strong. Before I knew it, everything was dark. We were there for so long it felt like forever. The air thinned and the darkness closed in on us in that little box. We became unsettled. That's all I remember. When I came to, I was in a hospital bed staring up at the ceiling. In court, Yanni Yogi's mental condition was called into question. They claimed the oxygen deprivation had stress, and stress had caused temporary insanity. In the end, the claim passed, and the court and Yogi was found innocent. Huh. But isn't that strange? This letter tells him to get revenge on Edgeworth. Why would he want to take revenge on you? Right. Yeah? There's something that's been troubling me these last few days. I didn't know whether or not I should tell you. You mean the nightmare? It's a nightmare I've had. A memory of a crime that I committed. A crime you committed? A memory of a murder. I think... I think the time has come to tell all. For the last 15 years, I've had the same dream almost every night. I wake up in a fearful sweat every time. What kind of dream? It's a dream about my father's killing, in the dark.
And with that scream I wake. It's a bone-chilling scream. A scream that has rung in my ears for the past 15 years. But that's just a dream, right? Right? That thought is the only thing that has kept me sane for the past 15 years. But what if I'm wrong? What if it's real? They say that sometimes people shut out memories in self-defense. Maybe it was I who killed my father. What? If you think about it that way, this letter makes sense. Get your revenge on Miles Edgeworth. Think about it. Yogi was really innocent. That's why he wanted revenge against me. Wait, Edgeworth, you... You mean... It was me. I was the true criminal of DL6. I shot my father. This is bad. What are we going to do, Nick? What can we do? I don't know. I don't think there's anything we, we can do. Like it or not. If there's someone else who knows a lot about the DL6 incident, maybe... There is, Nick! There is someone else who knows about DL6. One day left, Nick. Yeah, I know. Well, no time to waste. Let's get going. December 27th. Grossberg Law Offices. Mr. Grossberg? Ah, oh, holder. What's wrong? You look troubled. No kidding. I can't believe you're not. My, my, my. Just calm down and tell me what's happened, hmm? It's Mr. Edgeworth. He, he... <laughs> I see. So, Edgeworth dreamt he shot his own father? It's only a dream. Only a dream. I wonder. What? If that's the case, why do you two look so troubled? Mm -hmm. Well... Also, consider this. Yogi quite certainly holds a deep grudge against Miles Edgeworth. So deep he'd want to frame him for murder. This leads me to surmise that Mr. Edgeworth's dream was not a dream. It was real. As you imagined. Miles Edgeworth threw the pistol to save his father. The pistol fired and the deed was done. N no! I don't believe it. Yogi was suspected of murder, and his career as a bailiff was irrevocably wrecked. Thus, he sought revenge on Miles Edgeworth. This was his last chance, of course, with the statute of limitations so close. What do you know about Edgeworth's father? He was a defense attorney without peer. It sounds trite, but it's true. Well, you may have had one pair now that I think about it. Your mentor, Mia Fey. My sister? Gregory Edgeworth was very disapproving of Mr. Von Karma's te techniques. That's no surprise. Von Karma is an extreme man. Forged testimonies and evidence are nothing to him. The result? He has a perfect win record in court. To beat him, Gregory Edgeworth tried to call attention to his methods. And? He lost and died in despair, as it were. I see. When Gregory Edgeworth was killed, the police called on a spirit medium. That was your mother, Misty Fay. Yet Yogi was found innocent. That's when my mother left us. Everyone called her a fraud. That's right. Everyone thought she was... Everyone thought she was, you see. Yet, now that I think about it, it seems that what the one who lied was Gregory Edgeworth's ghost. Gregory Edgeworth must have known who shot him. I don't believe it. S so you're saying he falsified his testimony? 
that Edward's dad lied to protect his son? It's only a possibility, mind you. But a possibility nonetheless. Oh, so this is the letter. It does seem that Yogi was following this letter when he killed Hammond. But why kill Robert Hammond? Hammond was a skilled defense attorney. But he defended clients not for their sake, but for his own. Huh? His own sake? He never trusted his clients, that one. The only thing he trusted was his own ability. But he got his client found innocent. So why should it matter? Actually, my dear, it's quite different. He won that innocent verdict for, for no one but himself. Yogi was a free man, but socially he was ruined. Huh? You'll understand soon enough. Wait. What is it? This letter. I've seen this handwriting somewhere before. A long time ago. Whose handwriting was this? Do you have any idea who wrote this? Hmm, could it be Manfred von Karma? Von Karma? Why would he have something to do with this? Um, well, I'm not sure. Hmm? Von Karma. Von Karma. Wait! You're right, my boy! This is Von Karma's handwriting, I'm sure of it! I used to see it all the time on court reports. What? But, but that means the one who told Mr. Yogi to kill was... Correct. Manfred Von Karma himself. What does this mean, then? Why would Von Karma want to frame Edgeworth? If it truly was Von Karma who wrote the letter, then he would know the truth. He would know that Miles Edgeworth had accidentally killed his own father. He'll say as much tomorrow in court, I should think. He'll press the point until the court finds Miles Edgeworth guilty. Oh no. But, but how could Von Karma know about Mr. Edgeworth's past like that? Even Mr. Edgeworth thought he was just a nightmare. Hmm, that I do not know. Yet I do know that Von Karma is both persistent and a perfectionist. He may be seeking to satisfy, satisfy a grudge against Gregory Edgeworth by hurting his son. What do you mean? It was 15 years ago. Von Karma met Gregory Edgeworth in court, and Von Karma did win, but he didn't make it through the trial unscarred. What happened in the trial between Edgeworth's dad and Von Karma? Von Karma got the guilty verdict he wanted. He won the trial, but Gregory Edgeworth accused Von Karma of faulty evidence, and though he lost the trial, Mr. Edgeworth's accusation stood. Faulty evidence? It was, the only, it was the only penalty Von Karma has ever received in his career as a prosecutor. Gregory Edgeworth dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. Wow. It must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. He took vacation for several months after that, you see. Vacation? Yes, an unusual event for the man. It was the first and the last vacation he's taken in his many years of prosecuting. Really? He doesn't take vacations? Like, go to the sea or uh, to the mountains? Don't tell me he's never been to Europe. You have strange ideas about vacations, Maya. In any case, that was the only time he took a vacation from work. I believe the penalty upset him quite a lot. Odd. If he wanted to keep a perfect, a perfect record so badly, why would he take such a long vacation? What do we do, Nick? Von Karma is going to bring up deal six. You can bet on it. What if Mr. Edgeworth pleads guilty to deal six? I won't let him. Um, yes, Mr. Wright. I have to say this, but even accidental murder is murder, you know. I know that. I, I just believe in Edgeworth's innocence. I can't believe he'd kill someone. But Nick, Mr. Edgeworth admits it himself. His father must have lied to protect him from beyond the grave. I don't care. I know he's not guilty. Mr. Wright, if you say so, I suppose I could go check again. Police files might hold something of interest. Mr. Grossberg, thank you. I can't promise anything. In fact, I think the chances of finding something are slim. I understand. Police materials. Hmm. Let's go check it out. But first, just really quick. 
Uh, quite sorry. I have nothing to say concerning that. Okay. Let's go actually check out the police files. I believe we could the... Uh... December 27th. Police Department Criminal Affairs. There's hardly anyone here. Everyone must be out looking for the old guy. Yogi. Ah, oh, true. Our turn comes will be back at... Will be coming back today. He's staying out late looking for someone. Sounds like Detective Gumshoe is pounding the pavement for real. Um, we were wondering if we could check out the records room again. Well, no, I can't have just anyone running around in there. But I guess Mr. Von Karma is in there now anyway. You can go in as long as he's there. Von Karma? Yes, he just arrived actually. Von Karma is in the records room. Nick, let's hurry. December 27th, Police Department Records Room. Dusty as always. You were only here just yesterday. I'm sure they haven't had time to clean. What's wrong, Nick? Nothing. I was just noticing that he isn't here. Juan Karma. Huh? One of the drawers here is open. Someone must have been looking in it recently. The label says unsolved cases, evidence. Hmm. Unsolved cases. Nick! The file for DL6! It's completely empty! What? What are you doing in here? Eek! V -v 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 Von Karma! You. How do you know my name? Huh? Have we met? What are you saying? We see each other every day, don't we? We're Miles Edgeworth defensive team. Defense team? Hmm. <laughs> I beg your pardon. You see, I rarely remember defense attorneys. They are like bugs to me. Needless things to be crushed. See how this guy was Edgeworth's mentor. Ah, uh, um... Mr. Edgeworth was your student, right? A romanticist who could never see shed that veneer of amateurism. Just like his father. Always second rate. Mr. Ron Karma, you had an axe to grind with Mr. Gre Gregory Edgeworth, didn't you? Me? A grudge against a mere defense attorney? Why? Because he dealt a blow to your otherwise perfect trial record? Mm. So you did. But what, I, but what I don't get is, why did you take a son under your wing afterwards? A son of your most bitter rival. That, my dear attorney, is none of your business. Tomorrow will be the last day of this trial. It's been a while since I've had a defense attorney last this long. Still, you will lose in the end. Miles Edgeworth will admit his own guilt. His guilt of 15 years ago, you mean? You're quite the researcher. If you've done your homework so well, then certainly you must understand. You know what Miles Edgeworth will tell the court tomorrow. We were right. Von Karma is going to bring up DL6 in court tomorrow. Just really quickly, you can... Uh... Fool. You think I, a prosecutor, would give you a defense attorney information? Bah! Creep. Mr. Von Karma, have a look at this. This was you, wasn't it? You instructed Yanni Yogi to commit murder. Yanni Yogi. How many years has it been since I've heard him called by that name? He's a fool. I told him to burn it after he read it. So you admit it. You, you wrote Mr. Yogi this letter. Yes, my dear defense attorney. 
Thank you for taking the trouble to bring it to me. You've saved me from a lot of needless hassle. What? N Nick! What is that thing? A stun gun. For self-defense, usually. Indeed. 600,000 volts will course through your body like a dog touching an electric fence. 600,000? Oh, don't worry. People don't die from it. Usually. Now, give me the letter. No. No! Whoa, what are you... Nick, run! Ah! Maya! Out of my way. Wah! Uh, he got us. The letter's gone, of course. And he took the DL6 evidence. All of it. Back to having no clues. Wait. Maya jumped first. Maya! Is she okay? Ma Maya! Maya, open your eyes. Maya! The letter. Did he take it? Huh? Oh, yeah. Are you are you okay? I I couldn't stop him. I jumped as fast as I could, but one shot from that thing knocked me knocked me out cold. I'm useless. I'm no good as a lawyer or a medium. I can't even call my sister. Not even now when we needed her the most. I wish I hadn't woken up at all. Maya! Ugh. Must be some way I can help her. I'd better do something about her self-confidence first. Maya. She's holding on to something. What is that? A bullet? The L6 incident. Evidence number seven, taken from the heart of Gregory Edgeworth. I remember. Von Karma was holding this when Maya jumped him. Put DL6 bullet in pocket. I'll prove it to you, Maya. You're most definitely not useless. I'll prove it to you in court tomorrow. <laughs>